On November 7, 1941, Japanese soldiers advanced on Hong Kong, only a few hours after the attack on Pearl Harbor. In Ottawa, people gathered today at the Hong Kong Memorial Wall to stand and remember. Ambassador Liu Zhaowei of China spoke of the bravery of the Canadian, British, and Indian forces who defended the citizens of Hong Kong. Today, I'm so honored to introduce one of a few living heroes, Mr. George S. MacDonnell. He was only 19 years old when he took part in the defense of Hong Kong and luckily survived. As a young soldier, Canadian war veteran George Magdanell spoke of his eyewitness accounts of the Battle of Hong Kong. An overwhelming force that we simply couldn't deal with. We didn't have the numbers. And the Japanese uh, were fearless in their attacks. They seized the high ground, and once they seized the high ground in Hong Kong, they were in a very dominant position. And so, because of their numbers, we were constantly encircled and forced to retreat because we didn't have enough troops to cover the ground. Um, it was a, a very vicious battle. No prisoners were taken on either side, and it was 17 days of a vicious fighting hand-to-hand. -hand. It was an incredible struggle until finally the governor surrendered. There are events in our history that have changed the way we look at things. War, conflict, aggression. Events like these that cannot be forgotten. What has taken place here today is how we remember. I want you to know how bravely the Chinese volunteers fought beside us, and I want you to know that we're still proud, all of us, that we took part in this conflict. Thank you very much.